Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of SMG Fishing. So today's video is going to be really quick. I just want to put this video out and uh, show you guys how I'm doing something. I've been getting a lot of questions about how to remove bench seats out of a bass boat. Now, I don't recommend doing this. So the first reason you don't want to take those out is because John boats that have those bench seats in there, most John boats are U-shaped, right? So when you have those bench seats in there, it provides a support across it to hold it together. When you remove that support, your John boat does this and it flexes out and it won't keep the shape of the boat that you're using. So I don't really recommend it. The only time I do recommend it is when you're gonna either have a U-shaped rib in it, just like I have in this boat. This one's got multiple U-shaped ribs in it because this boat wasn't meant to have bench seats in it. It was actually meant to be a bass boat. One, I don't recommend you taking those bench seats out because you do lose structural support. Two, if you are gonna do it, make sure you give it some kind of structural integrity by putting a bunch of cross supports on there or whatever you do. Just know that it's not the easiest thing to do. One, because you lose that structural support and two, because then you have to fill in those holes for the rivets. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to take those bench seats out without creating holes with the rivets. Okay, so first things first. Like I said, I don't have bench seats in this boat particularly, but I do in other boats and I've left them in there. To me, it seems like it's easier to use that bench seat as a piece of support for your deck in the first place. That way you don't have to reinforce your boat and that way you don't have to build a platform for your deck. So like I said, again, I would not recommend pulling those bench seats out but if you have to do it, this is how you do it. So this isn't a bench seat, obviously, but the point I'm trying to get to is when you have a rivet through the hole of your boat. Now you don't want to remove these rivets by drilling them out like I've done in the past. What you want to do, okay, so here's the head of the rivet that I want to pull off because I want to separate this piece from the hole of the boat. So the first thing that you want to do is make sure that you have a, a sharp tip on your chisel. So take the chisel and you lay it down as flush as you can get to the actual rivet. And then you're going to take your big hammer and you're going to just knock off the, knock off the top. See, that makes that rivet come off flush. And you should just be able to wiggle back and forth and pry this off. Good deal. And now this piece is disconnected from your hole. All right, I'm gonna finish off these last ones and I'll show you how to fix that loose rivet now. Okay, so now I've taken that chisel and I've hit each of the rivets that are coming off. So I just remove your seat or whatever is riveted to it. So and then once you remove these, not all of them, but some of them might be loose. I think I got pretty lucky in that time where none of these rivets are loose now. So they're probably not gonna leak any water. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna smash these down so they don't have sharp edges on them. But at the same time, this is the same way that you tighten up a rivet. So basically what you do is, I'm just improvising because I don't have the proper tools, but take a big piece of metal and a hammer, usually a ball peen will work better. Take a big piece of metal and you put it on the inside. And then what you're gonna do is on the other side of that rivet, gonna smack it a couple times and you don't want to do it too hard because you could puncture the hole of the aluminum that's not what you want to do what you want to do is you just want to mushroom each end of that rivet so that it's sealed up again And there you have it. Now those rivets are tight. And now some of these rivets that I have are rivets that were added. They're not the actual factory ones. These ones, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to tighten up as good. These were actually, there was a side panel on the side here. I ended up taking those out and I took the rivets out the same way. But sometimes when the backs of the rivets aren't as mushroomed out, that are harder to tighten up because there's just nothing to mushroom into it. And what I'm gonna have to do is probably take a brazing rod and fix that up. All right, so that's the proper way to tighten up a rivet. Maybe not using the proper tools, but you know, the end result is pretty much the same. They probably look a little cleaner if I had the proper tools, but it's not a big deal. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't really want to try to fill up those rivets with silicone. And then you also don't want to use Bondo or some kind of body filler or something. It's just not going to last as long. So if you have any rivets and they don't actually go back together, what you might have to do is get a brazing rod and some propane torch or map gas torch or something like that and fill those back in, which shouldn't be hard, which I think I'm going to have to do on the this one. This is the only one that didn't really close back up. And that's because I probably took off too much of the rivet with the chisel when I took it off the first time. A good thing to do when you get a new boat is to fill it up with water because then that'll show you where all your holes are and it'll also show you where you have leaking rivets or cracks or something like that. So once you fill it up and you find those, mark those rivets with like a sharpie or something and then you can go back later and tighten them all up. All right guys, thanks for watching. If you guys like quick videos like this, make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe. And if you guys want to see this jumbo project completed go ahead and check out that playlist we're getting there we'll hopefully make a lot of progress here soon so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video i'll see you next time
What are you guys still doing here? Go check out some more videos.